We're all doing life, but who knew it could be this funny? Thanks for checking out our podcast. We are Doing Life with Maria and Chad. So I have to say I'm a proud mama. My daughter, Lucy, graduated from ASU. Yay! Yay, Lucy! Yay. That's awesome. Wah, wah. It was typical 2020. I will tell you all the details of her graduation and her graduation party coming up in the podcast. Oh, no. Are you wearing Christmas pajamas on this show, Maria? <laughs> I am. So you can kind of see in the video a little bit. Yeah. I look like a gingerbread man, and I pulled these out because my girlfriend Tracy and I did a ugly Christmas sweater run like years ago, Uh huh. and we dressed as gingerbread man and woman. Of course you did. <laughs> of course we did, yeah. And so I, I've been sleeping in these, and so I rolled out of bed, and here I am. This is a perfect way to wrap up 2020. We're, we are doing a, a show. Well, you, you're in your pajamas, and I'm wearing a, a, a sweatshirt over here. Um, but do that thing. Uh, so uh, you always have to make this major announcement sound effect with your, with your mouth. How does that sound again? Ding! Ding. I love, love your symbol. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I've been talking about this on social media. I wanted to kind of, uh, for people that love this podcast, I want you to be reassured this is not going anywhere. Uh, we plan to do it as long as we possibly can, but Maria is a lot busier than I am. And so I am launching a new podcast. Actually, there's a sample available right now, but I'm starting a new podcast uh, in January that will have a couple episodes a week, and it's going to focus on the weirdest news that I can find on the internet. Um it's called That Just Happened, and uh, so it'll come out a couple times a week. We're going to do like online happy hours with people that sign up for it. There's going to be an additional podcast uh, that focuses on like songs that you probably don't know, but I hope you love. Um, <laughs> but if you want to check it out, if you want to sign up, if you want to get a sample of it, uh, there's everything's online for you right now. It's at patreon.com slash T-J-H. So it stands for That Just Happened. That's the name of the podcast. So P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash T-J-H. I just want to say I am so excited for you. Thank you. Yeah, I I really am. I'm excited. I got to be honest. And I've only told this to some of my closest friends. And I consider all the people listening to this podcast close friends. So I've been doing radio for almost as long as you have, I think. And I have rarely had to talk to myself for as long as I have when I've been <laughs> when I've been practicing to do this. It's a little different. I, I'll speak for like three or four minutes, and I'm like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> it, it's so different to be solo and not have somebody to speak with. At that, I mean, you could talk for a minute or two. We're used to that, right? When you get right. into three, four, five minutes, and you're like. Okay. Uh, so that has been the learning curve. I actually, I've been very disciplined. I'm like practicing every day because I want this to be something that people look forward to. They're going to be spending 63 cents per episode. So Ooh. yeah, so it's expensive. 63 cents. Uh, so yeah, like five bucks a month is like the lowest tier on this thing. But go to Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash T-J-H and uh, sign up for that. And you'll have uh, more podcasts than you'll need to, um, than you'll have time for. Actually, it's going to be very short. I want it to be for uh, people that have a short attention span or a short commute. Most of us. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, honestly, there's a lot of podcasts I would love to listen to. And I have more free time than most people. And I don't have time for these things. So I yeah. want it to be kind of short and to the point and funny. And so that's the goal with that. Um, what is going on in your neighborhood and your, with your dog? So this is so crazy. So we had a guy here, um, a tile guy, and he was fixing some tile at our house. And it's in the backyard. And all of a sudden, we get a call from um, the class family. They live down the street, uh -huh. but they're in New York right now okay. for the holidays. All right. And Katie calls my husband and says, hey, I just saw your dog on our ring doorbell. <laughs> Like, what the hell? Our dog apparently got out and we had no idea. And we had to get a call from New York to realize that our dog had escaped the backyard. Does, <laughs> did they have a dog? Like, was Olive going to visit their dog? Like, why would Olive go to their door? For whatever reason, whenever um, the dogs would escape, uh -huh. they always went down to like 
they always took a left out of our house and they always go down to like Katie's house and uh, the Guzman's house next door. Okay. Like, for whatever reason, that's their that's their route. So, you know, I panicked. I'm like, oh my gosh, the dog's a freak. She's going to get hit by a car. So I'm screaming. This is before, well, I guess I knew she was down there, but I'm screaming, Olive, <laughs> Olive, come home. And everybody's like looking at me. And so my husband goes, listen, I'll get on my bike. I'll go try to find her. And then he's back in a minute and the dog's back. Yeah. Like she heard me. She just was going out for a little run. But I just thought it was so funny that we had to find out our dog was missing by someone in New York. <laughs> uh, you know, ours ours is hardwired in. We've got the ring doorbell. But if that thing was battery powered, we would have to change the um, the batteries on it because it's been going off so much from uh, Christmas presents. You know, whenever oh, we get yeah. a delivery, that thing goes off. I'm like, oh, somebody's at the door. Nope, just something else that just, you know, <laughs> package I need to set on the counter because it's not for me. Somebody else yeah. ordered this because everything's being ordered these, this year for um, for Christmas. Do you want to try to win a prize this morning? I would like to win a prize. All right, let's play uh, Get the Fake Out. You are a liar. You are a fake. Maria and Chad present. Is this for real? Do you ever fake it? Get the fake out. That was a fake. I think I'm for real. So... Every time we do this, you get a chance to choose what you're playing for. What's your prize today? Well, my fake prize today, because it's get the fake out, so I really don't win anything. Right. Uh, I would like a new ugly Christmas sweater. New ugly Christmas sweater. What's going to be on that Christmas sweater? Um, I don't know yet. You can pick. Um, I, do, I want it to have lights, though. I okay. want it to light up. I think uh, it's Mike Tyson, and the face <laughs> tattoo is what lights up. So it's, it's a Mike Tyson ugly Christmas sweater. That's awesome. I cannot wait to win. I cannot wait to win and not get it. All right. The way Get the Fake Out works, if you want to play along as you listen to our podcast, uh, I'm going to give a bunch of headlines to Maria. She has to decide which one I made up, a la which one is fake. And if she does so, she wins a fake prize. All right. Here we go. Number one, Ben and Jerry's unveiled a new Colin Kaepernick inspired ice cream flavor called Change the World. Okay. Number two. Disney World is now adding digital face masks over maskless guests in photos. Ah, that's stupid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number three. <laughs> Russian scientists misplaced invisible dark matter particles. Huh. Okay. How embarrassing would that be, right? 96% uh, of people say ugly Christmas sweaters are a turn on. Oh, mm -hmm. Ties in with your Mike Tyson prize. And number five, you're more likely to die during surgery if it's the surgeon's birthday. Wow. Okay. Hold on. Turn on. Die in surgery. I'm writing notes here. Okay. Okay. Let's see. We're going to start from the top here. I think I'm going to get this one right. I did read about the Ben and Jerry ice cream flavor. Yep. So I, I think that's true. Okay. Uh, Disney World digitalizing the face masks. I read that as well. That's true as well. Okay. Um, ugly Christmas sweater is a turn on. That's true. Okay. Oh, so now I have to pick here. Um, misplacing invisible dark matter or die in surgery if it's the surgeon's birthday. I'm going to go with, I think the surgeons could be distracted if it's their birthday because they're thinking, man, I can't wait to go out and have some champagne. So I'm going to say that you're more likely to die in surgery if it's the doctor's birthday. So you're either right or wrong, Maria. And? And? Oh! You picked the wrong one. Oh, no! <laughs> that's I actually... thought the invisible thing was a... Was a to throw me off. No, that's actually the fake one. Uh, but the, you are more likely to die during surgery if it's the oh. surgeon's birthday um says uh, there's a 23 percent higher chance of dying on the table after looking at millions of different surgeries at ucl ucla medical center um i guess it's hard to concentrate at work when it's your birthday right well yeah but they're doctors they should be concentrating maybe maybe it's just like uh the holidays in my head but i was thinking of uh the surgeon being like um Frosty the Snowman, like, happy birthday. <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> the scalpel sl slipped. You're, you're dead. All right. All uh, right. Let's run down the rest of these for the people that do not know these stories. Ben and Jerry did unveil uh, an ice cream flavor called Change the World. 
It's the Colin Kaepernick inspired ice cream flavor. It's a um, well, he's a vegan, so it's a non dairy dessert. Uh, it's topped with fudge, graham crackers, and chocolate chip cookies, and then part of the proceeds go to uh, his organizations. Okay. The Disney World thing, I get it, but I'm kind of sad about it. Um, they're adding digital face masks over maskless guests in photos. So one of their protocols, as you can imagine, they're open and Disneyland is not, is that guests have to wear masks at all times. Right. So what people were doing, and we've all probably been to Disney, or most of us, you're on the rides and they take photos of you on the rides, and right. people were pulling their masks down when they get go off a of Splash Mountain or whatever. And so Disney would then go in and put in a digital mask because they didn't want those photos getting out and people seeing it and going, hey, why aren't they wearing masks at Disney World? So that's the deal. Now, I guess people have complained and they've backed off of that. So I think they're not. Oh. Do- so they did it and now they're not doing it because I don't know. So that's what's going on there. Um, Christmas sweaters are a turn on. Uh, they studied with did the study with single people and uh, shows that you have a good sense of humor. You're open to meeting people. And it's a good conversation starter. Now, I would say in this pandemic, probably not as much of a conversation starter in helping you meet people, I would think. Right. Exactly. (laughs) But, it, you know, yeah, sense of humor. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have that goat one. I got to dig that out before Christmas. Um, (laughs) And then the uh, the surgery thing I wanted to circle back on real quick, because I don't think I told you I am having surgery today, later on today. You are? For what? I am having that Mohs surgery on my face. Oh, that's right. So the cancer. I the skin little, cancer. I got the cancer. I got the face cancer. So they're going to dig in. If you're looking at the camera right over here. Actually, thanks to this podcast, it's funny. My wife had been going, hey, you should get that checked. It looks a little bit different. Hey, you should get that checked. And I'm like, oh, okay. A year ago, they said it was fine. So I went in and they said that, yeah, it's, uh, what's they squeamish something? Can- and that's the good one. Uh, yeah, it's the good cancer. <laughs> the, well, out of, yeah. I think the doctor winks at you when they tell you that. It's the good cancer, yeah. <laughs> um, so they're going to dig in my face today, so that'll be fun. Um, so that's happening at one uh, thirty today, so I got that to look forward to. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the update from here. I'm sorry you don't win your uh, Mike Tyson um, Christmas sweater. I should have known that invisible dark matter is invisible, and that should have that should have cued me oh it was i was really stretching this week i was trying to think of a fake one i'm like all right russians dark matter let's try to put this all together they they lost it (laughs) but yeah that that is the fake headline well i have some big news too what's that my daughter lucy officially graduated from asu i have a college graduate it's it's just I know as her her parent I'm just a friend I I still can't believe she's out of college yeah yeah it was like a blink and and it was it's kind of sad because you know you see okay I'm gonna use tv as an example but you see the kids graduating you know on tv shows and they have stuff written on their hat where they're gonna be working they throw their hats up it's a big celebration yay And literally, so she would have walked on Monday. And what we did was nine o'clock is when it officially would have started if it was real, like in person. Right. Lucy rolls out of bed at about 845, goes into the living room. She hooks her computer up to the TV so we can watch pre-taped speeches. Oh, my gosh. And we're just all in our pajamas and she's, you know, still covered up and, you know, hair's all messy or whatever. And it, it was just sad. It was sad. Well, did she look at it that way, though? Or was she just happy to be done with school? Um, I think she she's very social. Yeah. And I think she was disappointed she did not get to walk or anything like that. Um, she is going to do some graduation pictures. You know, Gabe, we used to work with Gabe. Yeah, yeah. Gabe is going to take the pictures for her. Okay. Um, and hopefully she'll be able to walk in May. Like they're letting the people who graduated in December walk in May as well. So will we have like a delayed uh, graduation party? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. okay. But there's two, there's two things that we're really, really sad about this. All right. Okay. Number one was having to watch this whole thing. And then you can skip to the person actually announcing 
her name and they pronounced her name wrong. Nice. How did they say and it? And then it was, so her name is Lucille Maria. Uh-huh. That's her name. Yeah. And they said Lucille Marie. Nice. <laughs> and then, and then I ordered a cake topper because I've got a little cake. I wanted to make it as special as I could. And I ordered it from Amazon because I couldn't find any graduation stuff in December anywhere in town. And it said, what I bought was, congratulations, grad, like little flags sticking on a cake. Yeah. And it came, congratulations, crad, C-R-A-D. You got to send that photo over to our producer, Dan, and have him put <laughs> that up on YouTube so people can see. Because it, it is, you describe it to me on the phone, and then I saw the photo. I'm like, that is 2020. That, that is just well, perfect. And, and I was going to return it. I was like, oh, come on. Yeah. And then I was like, nah. It's 2020. And my husband's like, can't you just turn the C into a G? I'm like, oh, I could, but I'm not. <laughs> well, I have not as big of an announcement about my daughter to make, but she is surprising me on a daily in that she has decided to take to drinking coffee. And we've talked about this before on the podcast about my wife loving Starbucks. And right. I think that's where it originated to the point where now... Like, I'll give her a ride to school, but she gets up a little bit earlier than me because she's a girl and it takes her forever to get ready, right? So right. She, <laughs> the other morning I come out and she's got herself a cup of coffee and she's putting cream in it and I'm, and she's 14, <laughs> you know? I just, I, at that age, I didn't have a taste for coffee. I mean, actually, I think I was in my 20s before I had a taste for coffee. I don't know about you. Um, yeah, I was in my 20s as well. Actually, that's that's funny you say that. Yeah. I think it was when I was pregnant because my doctor told me not to drink Coca Cola, mm -hmm. and so I moved to coffee. I uh, yeah, I I think I think it was when I had to get a real job and I had to get up super early in the morning and I was just drinking the the free coffee <laughs> at work and then I did go through. I I shouldn't rip on my wife. I, there was a time where I was um, uh, what was the the tea uh. Uh, from Starbucks. It's like a creamy, it looks like milky tea. Oh, chai? Chai, chai tea. tea. My gosh. I used to drink the crap out of that stuff until I realized all the sugar in it. So got away from that. Um, yesterday, I had an altercation at Sam's I wanted to tell you about. An um, altercation? Yeah. So you work at Costco and you might yes. be able to have seen something like this. So I was picking up just the essentials, you know, some spinach, some bell peppers, some tomatoes. You know, stuff for the house. And I text my wife because she's at work. And I said, hey, is there anything that I need to get while I'm here? And she mm -hmm. sent me a toilet paper emoji. <laughs> and I looked at it and laughed because every time I go, there's no toilet paper. Right. So after I got all the stuff I needed, I'm like, oh, I'll just take the cart past it. And lo and behold, there was one <gasps> Sam's Club brand package of toilet paper sitting on the crate in the back aisle at my local Sam's Club. Yes. So I started walking faster because <laughs> I was afraid somebody's <laughs> going to come around the corner from the other way. <laughs> and I grabbed it. And it's funny because it wasn't somebody coming towards me. There was a guy behind me. And he's like, hey, that's the only reason I came here. And I froze. I'm like, uh, I give it to you, but we're almost out. And my wife just told me to pick it up. Like, did he expect me to drop it out of my cart and give it to him? Yes. He was kind of like aggressive. He, That's the only reason I came here. I'm like, well, should have been here four steps earlier. You'd have had it. <laughs> yeah. But we now, now have, What time of day were you there? It was 2.45 p.m. Okay. So I'm guessing Sam's Club is exactly like Costco. By 2 o'clock, toilet paper's gone. Okay. You got to get there early. Okay. So guy who his only reason was to go to Sam's Club was to get toilet paper should have been there when they opened. So that's that get there early. Okay. Yep. And they are they still doing the senior hours where people can come in early if they're mm, older? I think so. Okay. I think we like officially open at 10, but we've been opening at 9. A couple other uh, housekeeping things to do before we wrap up today's podcast. I just want to recommend something on Netflix that is out of the ordinary. Usually we're talking about series or movies. Um, this is a movie, but it's a documentary, and it's educational. So brace yourself, Maria. I'm sorry. I already tuned out. No, no, no. <laughs> this You're going to like this. Or at least watch a little bit of it. You might get bored okay. halfway through, but I was the... 
Uh, if you can watch it on a big TV, turn the sound up. It's so beautifully shot. <laughs> I know this all sounds so out of character for me. Watch <laughs> a movie on Netflix called My Octopus Teacher. Oh, I heard about this. Now, what's it about, though? So it's this, I think it's Australia. It's this guy that's got uh, underwater cameras, and he goes out every day and visits this octopus until the octopus becomes comfortable with him being around Uh to the point where it starts climbing on his arm, and he can see it change colors and shapes to to hide because they're really amazing creatures. They're basically... Like, uh, what do they call it? A hermit crab without a shell. You know what I mean? Because uh-huh. they don't have anything to protect themselves. So they ha- they're they geniuses at disguise. It is beautiful. Um, it gets a little bit long. I don't, we didn't make it all the way through, but I recommend it. Because even watching a half an hour, 45 minutes of it, it's beautiful to watch. It's really eye-opening when you see what these creatures can do. Um, it's, it's really, really cool. So if you have Netflix, you're already paying for it. Watch my octopus teacher. Okay. Um, you sold me. I'm yeah, in. Yeah. Check it out. I mean, if you love the ocean, I mean, there's some turtles on there. You'll see them. <gasps> Yay. They're pretty cool. Uh, so I did get one more card here in 2020, a uh, postcard in the mail that have been, they've been coming all year and I have no idea who they're coming from. Maybe, um, maybe I'll get a Christmas present from this secret admirer. I don't know. Ooh. So I'm going to hold it up to the camera here so you can see it. Actually, let me put it on this camera right there so you can see. It's got the uh, Charlie Brown postage on it again. So same forever stamp. And it says XOXO like a thousand times. And there's a uh, lipstick kiss on there again. And maybe this is the last one because when I read the postcard, it says, sorry, for everything, yes, everything. Oh. But it still says XO, and I still got my lipstick kisses on it. All right, so your your mission was to go into your wife's office mm-hmm. to see if she had those Snoopy stamps. I did that. And? She does not. I could oh. not find. I looked where the stamps were. She has other stamps, but if it is my wife or my daughter... They have hidden these type of stamps where I cannot identify them. Wow. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I I really want to know who this is now. I I do too. I I'm not sure who it is. Um. I I, I don't know. Maybe it's Dave. D- Dave uh, Dave's the one that uh, gave us the best answer to our final question last uh, last podcast. <laughs> the final question. If you missed it at the end of last uh, the last episode. We said, what is your favorite body part on the opposite sex? And I said the butt, and you said? I said the arms, and I let me say this, though, too. I said my husband would have said boobs. I asked him, butt. <laughs> so the funniest answer, we got a lot of different ones, but people were kind of shy on this. They were texting more than they were leaving voicemails. Yeah. Uh, Dave's comment made me laugh because it was four words. He wrote, where the lit... <laughs> I can't let me get it out. Sorry. <laughs> he goes, where the legs meet. <laughs> Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. These are the people that listen wow. to our podcast. So, Yep. Perfect. The final question. So we have a new final question uh, for this week, and I have an inspiration for that, Maria. There's a, a guy in the news from Pennsylvania who broke the record for eating Chick-fil-A more than 100 days in a row, except for Sundays, because they're closed on Sundays, right? Right. So the old record was 114. He's now up to 130 and plans on going every day for the rest of 2020. Jeez, oh, peeps. Okay. Let's listen to him. Can I please have a number one with a bottle of water? And can I have an extra chicken biscuit today, too, please? I can tell just by, like, his voice when he pulls up. I'm a creature of habit. Called my wife and said, I want to do it. And she laughed at me and thought I was ridiculous. 115 consecutive operating days eating at Chick-fil-A. This breaks the unofficial record. Today will be 132. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's uh, I mean, if you do it, then I'll have to do it again. I was watching some stuff on this guy. He, at one point, they went on a family vacation, and uh-huh. he had to drive 35 miles each way every day on their vacation so he didn't break his streak. 
That's ridiculous. That's what I thought. That's when it becomes not cute and funny anymore. You're spending that time away from your family so you can keep your Chick-fil-A streak alive. I don't know. I yeah. what what is he hoping he gets out of this? I mean, okay, so he gets the world record, but do you think Chick Fil A will eventually say, "Hey, you get Chick Fil A free the rest of your life for all this publicity"? That might be his motivation. I don't. I I honestly don't know. Maybe he just likes the attention, or I mean, I personally, I, I think Chick Fil A is acceptable, and I know I'm offending people by saying that. I don't love it. My wife and daughter love it. Oh. You know, I actually, I think the Wendy's chicken sandwich is pretty darn good. Spicy chicken sandwich. And I love the Popeye's one. I don't think I've had Popeye's before. You ought to try it. Mm -hmm. And you don't Mm -hmm. like pickles. So make sure you say hold the pickles. I I get extra pickles on mine, but it's. um, You can have my pickles. Well, that's that's the reason I brought this up. So the final question for today is inspired by Mr. Chick-fil-A record holder guy. It's if you could eat the same thing every day, what would it be? Oh, mine's so easy. You want to say it with me? Three, two, two one. one. Taco. Taco Bell. <laughs> oh, oh, we're on the same page. <laughs> okay, so you're going with Taco Bell. So anything on the Taco Bell menu every day? Yes. Or would you get the same thing? No, I would switch it up, but just Taco Bell in general. I've had times in my life where I really enjoyed Taco Bell. We went a couple of weeks ago, and I just thought it was gross. I know that sacrilegious saying that to you, but I just I thought it was gross. It depends on who makes it. Sometimes there's better makers than other people. Yeah, maybe it's a consistency thing. Um, and I, well, I will say real quick that I've changed things up because Halloween, my husband and I got the taco pack, you know, like the 12 tacos. Yeah. And I usually don't get just plain tacos. I get the burritos. I get chalupas, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm kind of on a taco kick now. I love their tacos. Okay. All right. Uh, answer the final question. If you had to eat the same thing every day, what would it be? You can call us. Uh, you can text us, but we'd rather have calls and we can play back your voicemails on our next podcast. Um, the phone number to call is 424-235-3657. If you had to eat now, the what same... what did you say, though? I said tacos. Just oh, just any tacos type. in general. Honestly, my wife's tacos, I think, are, are probably the most convenient and my favorite. I mean, she makes a variety from just ground beef to... Uh, pulled pork to, I'm trying to think of what the other ones are. There's barbecue, chicken. chicken yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that chicken in the crock pot is really, really good. Um, so answer that question. Tell us what you would eat every day. 424-235-3657. Our podcast again is called Doing Life with Maria and Chad, available on YouTube. We're all over social media. Where can they find us, Maria? Well, they can find us on our Instagram, Maria and Chad. Also Twitter, Maria and Chad. Mm-hmm. And Facebook. And Facebook. Just search for Maria and Chad. And uh, I want to say this. I know you agree with me, Maria, that we appreciate all the people that watch and listen our pod, listen to our podcast every week. Um, this is going to be our final podcast until the new year because I know we, we've got a ton of... Christmas is next week, so we've got a ton of yeah. stuff going on. Uh, we won't have time to do a podcast next week. But the first full week of January, we'll plan to have a new one for you to watch and listen and um, what do you want to add, Maria? What did I miss? Just just Merry Christmas and, and be kind to each other. It's been a hell of a year and, you know, 2021 can only be better, right? <laughs> Let's hope. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Goodbye, everybody. Mwah. Thanks again for listening to Doing Life with Maria and Chad. Follow us on Instagram at Maria and Chad and Facebook. You can now listen for free in all these places. The Radio.com app on the iHeartRadio app, Spotify, the Amazon Music app, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, TuneIn, Pandora, Podbean, and of course, YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single episode.